Good morning. I'm Linda Mori with this morning's devotion for South Harbor Creek United Methodist Church. Today is Thursday, September 15th, 2022. Can you believe we're halfway through September already? Oh my goodness. Before I begin today, I would like to let you know about some changes that are coming to our devotion time each morning. Beginning next week, 9 o'clock devotions will be held only every Wednesday morning. The staff will be rotating persons to give the the Wednesday devotion. Next Wednesday, Pastor Tim will speak, followed the next week by me, and then in October, Gordy and then Sue. Each of us will update the prayer concerns following our devotion. Then on Sue's Wednesday devotion time, she will go into more detail about the prayers and concerns of the church. Hopefully this will fill the need of our 9 a.m. morning group. Now to our devotion for today. (coughs) Excuse me. I like to read, and I know many of you do as well. My favorite books to read are fiction novels. I often choose a book to read either by the picture on the cover or the title. Both of these things capture my attention, and one or the other usually helps me choose one particular book over the other. This week on Facebook, I read a quote that said, You're moving from battle to breakthrough. If this were a book, I would have picked it up. It sounds positive and exciting, so much so that I wanted to share it with you today. Our church enjoys singing battle songs. One of our favorites for many years has been The Battle Belongs to the Lord. Some of the lyrics go like this. When your enemy presses in hard, do not fear. The battle belongs to the Lord. Take courage, my friend, your redemption is near. The battle belongs to the Lord. And we sing glory, honor, power, and strength to the Lord. We sing honor, glory, power, and strength to the Lord. All of us love the idea of good triumphing over evil. And many are willing to go to battle for a just cause. The Sunday praise teams are working on a new battle song called The Battle. (laughs) The words actually fit this quote even better. The lyrics go, When all I see is the battle, you see my victory. When all I see is a mountain, you see the mountain moved. And as I walk through the shadow, your love surrounds me. There is nothing to fear now, for I am safe with you. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees. With my hands lifted high, O God, the battle belongs to you. And every fear I lay at your feet, I'll sing through the night, O God, the battle belongs to you. Verse 2 says, And if you are for me, who can be against me? For Jesus, there's nothing impossible for you. When all I see are the ashes, you see the beauty. When all I see is a cross, God, you see an empty tomb. Almighty fortress, you go before us. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows. You win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. Aren't these words great? So the quote I read, you are moving from battle to breakthrough, is uplifting because while we don't often mind going into battle or going through what we have to go through, it's wonderful to realize that you are almost finished with your struggle. Most of us are probably struggling or battling something, but wouldn't it be awesome to know that you are moving from the battle to the breakthrough? For the Christian and anyone who chooses to follow Jesus Christ, we have good news about battles. Second Chronicles 20 verse 15 says, Thus says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed, for the battle is not yours but God's. We know that whatever we are going through, it's not our battle alone when we give it over to God. He will stand beside us. He will strengthen us and comfort us. One of my favorite verses is from Romans 8:28, And we know that for those who love God, all things will work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. And we can all relate, I think, to the verse in Romans 7, 18 to 20, where Paul is struggling with a battle inside himself, where he says, I know that nothing good lives in me, that is, in my flesh, for I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out, for I do not do the good I want to do. Instead, I keep on doing the evil I do not want to do. And if I do what I 
do not want. It is no longer I who do it, but the sin that lives in me that does it. We must all deal with the sin inside us. We must all battle our personal demons. Galatians 5.17 acknowledges this battle. It says, For the desires of the flesh are against the spirit, and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to keep you from doing the things you want to do. Sometimes our battles are physical, and sometimes they are spiritual. Spiritual warfare is real in this world, and a battle we can pray against. 2 Corinthians 10 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. And Ephesians 6, 12 says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of the evil in the heavenly places. We can pray for protection at times like this. Sometimes God will simply run a protective shield around us where nothing will be able to get through and attack us. Other times, something will start to slip through to come directly against you, and then God will move ahead of you to take it out. This is where God will literally take your enemy head on and do battle with it. Exodus 14.14 14 says, The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. We can pray and wait for the Lord. BibleKnowledge.com tells us that sometimes God will fight the actual battle through you. Other times he will simply tell us to hold our position and do absolutely nothing. And then he will move himself to completely take out the attack coming against you. This is where God shows us how powerful and how awesome he really is when he moves into battle to personally protect us. As Christians, we are painfully aware that we're involved in a battle for our souls. In this battle, we're outmatched and outclassed because our enemy has thousands of years of experience and all the time in the world to think of things to hamper our journey. Thankfully, we don't have to fight this battle alone. The Lord will fight for us. Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 says, For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you the victory. Whatever our battles are, we know that God is there with us. We can rely on him. He has already won the biggest battle of them all. He has conquered death. We have the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Faithful God, help us to trust you in these times of uncertainty. Let us rest on your words of comfort. When we are weak and overcome with fear and doubt, Help us to feel your presence. Remind in our inner hearts your words to fear not, to rest assured that today you promise that you will fight our battles. Help us move from battle to breakthrough. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope that you have a glorious day.